If you'd care to uh, ring the number on this telephone here, right. hopefully you should find Judith on the other end. Think so? Yes, with any luck. Where was it? Oh, so three, six. It is a local call, so it shouldn't run up too much. Is it? I think we don't get across line. Hello. Hello, Judith. Hello, sir. Is it you? It is. <laughs> I'm in the farmyard, actually, and I'm talking to you on the next finalist. Uh -huh, Would you like to come out been... here and have a look at it? And you can hear me quite well, can I you? I can, really clearly. Good, and the battery hasn't run out yet. No, it hasn't. Well done. Well, we'll come across and see you. See you soon. All right, bye. Bye. Well, this is the next finalist. The smallest, lightest, most intelligent cell phone in the world. One of the biggest advantages of cell phones is that you can take them almost anywhere. But although many claim to be portable, this one, as you've seen, really is pocket-sized. And the manufacturers have made it this small by using the latest in circuit and assembly technology. Instead of just mounting the circuitry onto one side of the circuit board, they've used both sides. And there are no less than 12 interconnecting layers packed into this circuit board. But it does have just as many features as other cell phones. For example, it can hold up to 100 phone numbers. It also has the same transmitter strength as ordinary cell phones, and it'll give more than 50 minutes of calling before the batteries need recharging. Ah, here she is. Surrounded by some extremely <laughs> lazy horses. Yes. Hello, sir. I'd like no. to introduce you to Niels Martinson, who's the founder of the company, and Hugh Hawkins, who leads the marketing team. And there it is. Oh, there it is. Uh -huh. I was wondering. I thought it might have been a bit smaller, but it's it's. It does it fit into the pocket all? Oh yes, indeed. I uh, try and carry it there all the time. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Walking out. The well-known electric armpit. <laughs> Absolutely yes. It's the only, the only one of its kind in the world. <laughs> it doesn't get. It doesn't sort of. You know, Oh, no, the, the, the average well-tailored suit accommodates it quite nicely. Oh, it does. You yes. don't get your suit specially reconstructed. Right? No, so far, not <laughs> unnecessary, I'm afraid. <laughs> There's a huge market, obviously, for this, all around the world, isn't there? There are about three million telephones in operation mm. now. The market only started in 1981 when the first systems were installed. And uh, we expect there will be about one and a half million telephones sold this year. Mm. And virtually every country will, over the next few years, establish a system. And what's, the, what's, what's going to happen in the future, then, with something like this? You can get it ever smaller, can you? What's the limit? So there are limits. So one of the uh, limiting factors, of course, is the distance between the mouth and the ear. That's <laughs> absolutely <laughs> true. And thank you very much. I can actually hear up there that Peter's getting ready for the next item. Well, our next final...